good news for endangered Mexican wolves, the wild population continues to grow. The 2024 population survey documented a minimum of 286 wolves in the wild across their recovery areas in Arizona and New Mexico. It's the ninth consecutive year of population growth, a testament to the biologists who work hard every day to recover an endangered species. Coming into our annual population counts, um, our team does a lot of effort on the ground trying to get a complete and accurate count of every wolf on the landscape using a variety of methods, trail cameras, track counts, visuals, so actually going out and locating these wolves visually and getting a complete pack count. We then transition into helicopter operations. So we are still obtaining counts from the air, but the primary goal being to capture these wolves to deploy more collars. So this is one of the GPS VHF radio collars that are actually put onto the wolves during our capture operations, whether that be ground trapping or helicopter trapping. About 50% of the population has collars. We identify priorities both in Arizona and New Mexico based on maintaining a minimum of two collars for every wolf pack. That allows us to manage them very effectively and if we lose one of the collars for any reason, uh, we're not losing track of that entire pack. They're incredibly important tools to have. January 30th was the first day of Mexican wolf helicopter operations in Arizona for 2025. After an uneventful morning, the afternoon was anything but slow. It went fast. Uh, they caught four wolves in about four and a half hours. The first wolf we caught was a yearling male out of the Poncho Spring pack. Um, that fulfilled our two collar minimum for that pack. So that's awesome. Um, that male also within the next year or two is likely gonna disperse. And when he finds a mate of his own, starts a new pack, that's an automatic collar on an alpha male. Our second pack that we went for was Prime Canyon. We caught the alpha female of that pack. She had slipped her collar a few years ago, so she wasn't wearing one. The next wolf we got was also an alpha female out of the Sierra Blanca pack. She was collared, but it was getting a bit old, so it was time for a replacement. And our last wolf of the day came out of the hoodoo pack. That was an alpha male. His collar was completely failed. It had been for a few years. He was collared back as a, as a pup. Wildlife managers are taking the first wolf that was captured back into its territory. Wolves are released close to where they were captured so they can easily find their packs. Managing Mexican wolves in the wild isn't easy, but the success is rewarding. And it's great to see that these numbers continue to go up. That success has really come huge in the, in the past probably five to eight years. 2024 was more than just the ninth consecutive year of population growth. It was another step closer to recovery for this endangered subspecies of gray wolf, the Mexican wolf. Mm -hmm.